Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a new video. So you guys just saw, I took the car out for a little bit, let it run. I actually drove it around the block a little bit, um, which was nice just to kind of get the car moving. Uh, man, it was literally the first time I really, you know, went for not really a drive, but just around the block with the brakes. Holy crap. I have to completely adjust my driving style. The brakes are so sensitive. It's crazy. I have to learn, I have to relearn the, uh, how it breaks and how it feels and everything. Uh, but pretty insane. Really, really looking forward to getting it out on the road and finally driving it with the new brakes. Obviously, I don't have any headlights in still. They're coming in this week, I believe. Um, they're all finished up. I'm just waiting on a few things. They'll probably be here later this week, so um, be on the lookout for videos on that. Uh, but tonight, we're actually doing a really small little modification to the car, and that is license plate LEDs. Now, I've been running pretty much the same ones for uh, pretty much the entire uh, ownership of my car which has been a little over four years now um, and they've been great you know I really haven't looked into it too much but uh, the only reason why I'm changing them tonight is because on our Telluride I actually had some uh, old LEDs that I was running in previous cars uh, I threw it in this car then I noticed the other night my wife was driving and one of them was out so I didn't have any extras so what I ended up doing was removing the good LEDs out of my STI I put them in the Telluride and I ordered up a new style for the STI. Now, you know, I know this is just lights. I know it's just license plate lights. It's nothing crazy. I thought these were pretty cool because it's not just a typical, you know, bulb that you just pop in. While, you know, you'll get a very similar result. I thought these were a little bit nicer, a little bit more uh, higher end, I guess. Um, these are actually full LED replacement housings. So as you can see, these actually are full replacement housing. It's not just a bulb like you see over here. Um, you literally just plug this into the socket and pop these into the little areas, which I'll show you. Uh, I got these from IJDM toy from Amazon. Nothing crazy, nothing too expensive. Uh, I think they were, uh, uh, I forget, around 15, 17 bucks or something like that. Nothing, uh, nothing that's going to break the bank. Yeah, maybe a little expensive for this, but honestly, um, I thought it was pretty cool. So I figured I'd give them a try. If not, I'll just go back to my tried and true LED. Um, I'll show you the difference. Uh, these, I actually just tested them just to make sure everything worked uh, and they're super bright. Uh, for me, I don't really like anything too bright. So these might not work. I might not like them, but I wanted to give them a try. I don't really like when it beams an entire, you know, light on the ground. I think it looks a little too ridiculous, uh, but we'll see what we think. And then I'll kind of give you my review and if you should get them or not. Uh, but either way, let's get to installing them. Um, I already went ahead and removed everything from underneath uh, because I, like I said, I took these out and put them in the Telluride, but it's super simple. As you can see, the uh, the liner is right there. It's just a couple pop clips, pop them off. And then you'll see the license plate socket things right here. You just twist them out and then you have access here. Like I said, it's not just a bulb replacement. So you don't just pop them in and then you're done. You actually have to remove the entire uh, little housings right here. So I'll go ahead and show you how to do that. Um, I was finding it a little difficult to remove. They don't seem to really want to come out. So I might have to remove this trim piece on the trunk, which is pretty simple. I believe it's just a couple of screws right here, but we'll see. We'll see if we can finagle them out. That'd be much easier to be able to do that. Um, I don't know why they would make you remove that whole thing just for those, but we will see. So let's go ahead, pop them out, and then uh, we'll compare and see what we like better. All right. So I was doing a little playing around just to see if I can pop them out of here without removing the little trim. Uh, but unfortunately, this hole is just too small, so it's kind of ridiculous. Uh, but you're going to have to remove this whole trim piece to get those housings out. Um, not a big deal, super simple, but I mean, just for serviceability, it's kind of a pain in the butt. Um, just because the tab that clips in right here underneath, it's kind of hard to see. Well, you can't. Um, it's too long, and you can't get it over this lip. Um, I mean, you could if you wanted to break it. Easily can do that, but I don't want to do that. So we're going to go ahead and just remove this whole piece, this whole trunk trim right here. Uh, it's like I said, really simple. So it's just one, two, three, and four eight millimeter nuts. And then there's these little blue uh, pop clips that you just push out and it'll pop right out. So it's literally going to take a minute to do, but it's just one of those things that's like, why? It <laughs> could have been so much easier, just made that hole a little bit bigger and it could have came right out. Oh man, this car is filthy with all this pollen. Cannot wait to get this car back together and back on the road so I can wash it and uh, get it back to where I want it. So, all right, <laughs> let's uh, pop that trim off and uh, get this finished up because it's a very, very simple little mod. And I'm hoping this video isn't too long because you guys are going to yell at me if I make, uh, you know, a 20 minute video on license plate bulb. So hold on.
right, so we got all the little bolts right here, one, two, three, four off. And then those two little blue clips, you just push them in. Uh, and then as you can see, the whole trim just removes. Whoops, and that one fell out. <laughs> that is the best way to do it. Let's remove this so we don't drop anything. Um, it takes a little bit more time, but it comes right off and this is what you're looking at. So I believe I actually took this one off when I did the carbon fiber trim here. So I was kind of familiar with the removal of it. So it wasn't too hard or too crazy to figure out. Uh, but yeah, so there you go. This is what the stock housing looks like. And then this is what we're replacing it with. So much nicer. It's going to look a lot cooler. And this simply just plugs right into the uh, socket over here. So I'll show you that as well. And uh, yeah, I was getting this buttoned up. Uh, while I have this off, I'm obviously going to clean this up right here because might as well, it's off. Um, so yeah, let's uh, pop that one out, clean things up. And um, let me get one of them in so I can show you the comparison. Throw the old bulb back in just so you guys can see the difference. It's gonna be kind of hard to see on camera, uh, but I figured I'll at least show you just in case anybody's curious. So, all right, let's go ahead, pop them out and uh, get this going. <music> So we got, this is the new LED one and that is the other one. Um, obviously really hard to tell, uh, but this one just looks a lot cleaner. The LEDs, obviously you can see, but it's gonna be hidden. You're not gonna be able to see it. One thing you can notice is see the, the light is just kind of in the center. It doesn't really spread out. Um, so it's more so just projected straight out. Obviously there's LEDs around that bulb, uh, but it doesn't fill out the housing as nice as, you know, if you look at this one, it fills out the whole housing. So it's a nice even light across. Um, obviously, I don't have the trunk trim on, so you can't really see a big difference, uh, but I much prefer these. I think these look really, really nice, really clean, and they clipped in really, really nice, so, you know, there's no, uh, so I'm not afraid of them popping out or anything, and plus, it's really nice if you look um, at the old housings here. As you can see, these are all old and grimy and they kind of fogged up. Um, the new ones are really nice and super clear and brand new, so, yeah. I mean, I don't know how long these are going to last, but honestly... I mean, why not? They were only a couple bucks. It wasn't that crazy. Uh, so I figured I'll give them a shot. And so far, I like them. Um, so let's go ahead, pop the uh, new one over on that side and kind of wrap this up. So simple little install tonight. Really happy with it. Um, I'm a big lighting nut, if you guys haven't noticed. Um, so these little things kind of make me happy. I'm always a big fan of finding new little unique lighting things for any car that I have. So kind of glad I found those. I don't know if anybody else has them. I'm sure they do. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and finish this side and uh, wrap this video up. Just to show you how they connect, this is the socket that normally goes into the stock housing, and this is the new wire from the new LED. So we simply, I don't think I can do this one-handed, but you're just gonna slip that in um, pretty straightforward. So let me see if I can set the camera up. Popping it in the socket. I'm just gonna go make sure it works. And we are good, that one's working, so we can go ahead and get the trim piece back on.
job complete. Super simple. Here they are on the car, not on just so you guys can get a visual. Obviously you don't see them when it's closed because it's facing down. Um, obviously you can kind of look up, but hard to see them. Let's go ahead and just turn on the lights so you can see it in the final with the trim on and everything. So there we go. Nice even light across the whole license plate. It's nothing too bright or anything. Um, I actually really like these. I was afraid they were gonna to be too bright, but it's actually the perfect brightness. Um, you know, it's not shining all over the ground and everything. Obviously the lights are on in the garage, but uh, very, very clean, very, very simple installs. So if anybody is interested in picking these up, I'm gonna have them in the link below. I just got them from Amazon. So, you know, you can just click that down there and pick them up. Uh, super, super simple install and it really cleans up the rear end, especially if you never change these before and you have the stock little halogen bulbs in there. Huge difference if you have the stock halogen bulbs. This is such a big upgrade, um, so I definitely recommend it. It's nothing too crazy, it's affordable. Anyone can do that, it's very simple as you guys just saw. So this week, you guys know, I've been talking about this for weeks and weeks and weeks, actually two months now, it's been eight weeks. Uh, my new headlights are coming in. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm really close with the owner. I've been friends with him for a long time. So uh, he's been keeping in contact with me about everything and just, you know, what's going on and the, the delay of the parts and all that. So uh, it's been frustrating, but at the same time, uh, knowing what they look like and just seeing the work that they put into them is going to be 100% worth it. So there's going to be a couple videos on that because there is a lot to explain. Uh, believe it or not, you know, it's not just headlights that you're just going to throw on and that's it. There's a lot of options, a lot of things that I need to do and kind of get them adjusted. And uh, I'm going to kind of walk you through all that. So be on the lookout for that video. Also, I am finalizing things with stage three. Uh, I showed you the parts that have come in already. Um, I'm actually talking to a shop right now. Uh, on getting you know a couple other things and getting things uh, situated to get that all sorted out. Uh, so that is kind of my main focus right now is getting this done to stage three. Um, and also real quick before I end this video, uh, on Instagram, I actually asked um, everyone that's following me, like, hey, are you guys interested in kind of doing a little bit of a meetup? Um, I don't know if you want to do a drive or just kind of get together, um, not just to meet me, but um, you know, kind of check the car out, uh, you know, just get together like-minded people enjoy some uh, cars and everything and uh, obviously meet me if you want to do that I don't know <laughs> I don't know if you'd want to do that but hey I mean why not if you guys are interested I would love to do something in either July or August I'm not really sure obviously there's a lot of logistics that need to be planned and all that um, obviously the location and just kind of setting things up it's not going to be anything too formal where you're going to need to buy like a you know a ticket or anything like that uh, but you know there's a lot that goes into it just to make sure it's safe and make sure um, you know, we don't get in trouble because obviously when you get together with a bunch of cars, a lot of stupid stuff can happen and I do not want that. I'm going to be mulling all that over um, and just kind of trying to get some ideas, maybe bouncing some ideas off of you guys. See what you guys are interested in most um, and just kind of solidifying some uh, some details so we can get together and finally got a little meet, uh, meet and greet and drive or something like that. Um, I think that would be a lot of fun. So again, that's probably not going to be until the end of the summer, just, you know, so everyone can make plans. Um, plus, like I said, the logistics of getting everything together. I just want to make sure everything is accommodating and it's not um, some dinky little, uh, you know, five people show up. So <laughs> we'll see how that turns out. Uh, but if you are interested, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to uh, meet you guys and kind of uh, get something together. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was small. I know it was simple. But hey, it's all in the details. It's all about the small things. I love doing little things like that. I'm sure a lot of you can relate. A, because it's cheap. B, it makes a big difference. And C, it doesn't require a lot of work. You don't have to get your hands dirty. And sometimes it's really nice just to do those little things. It's it's a lot of fun. And uh, it kind of makes the whole package. Because I always say the details matter, whether they're small or big. Kind of just takes the whole package and bring it together. So that is it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Again, if you are interested in those license plate LEDs, they will be linked in the description below. But in the meantime, keep it clean. Keep it simple. And I'll catch you in the next one.